Hi Cancerians, it's Leonore. Welcome to Soul Searching Tarot. Thank you for stopping by, thank you for coming by. If you're viewing me for the first time, I do integrate astrology as well as tarot card reads and spiritual messages. <sighs> Cancerians, this is your general tarot card read, okay? If you're looking for your love read, I already did all the zodiac signs, okay? Um, I'm gonna do them again all over. Um, I, yours is there, so if you're looking for your love read, love reads is, is what I do while you wait for your general tarot card reads. Yours is there, okay, Cancerians? Um, it's, um, it should say love. They're just more of a um, miniature video than your general tarot card read, okay? All right, so today I'm going to be using my African American tarot, and I'm going to clarify it with my mermaid tarot today, okay? All right, hope is, I hope everyone's doing well. Um, all right, so first spread, I have Three of Cups, Page of Swords, and I have um, my World card, my World card. Uh, all right, um, Three of Cups is the only one in the upright. It looks like someone's missing someone else. Could be a group of people, a couple of friends, a couple of exes, I don't know. Um, yeah, it's it's people that you definitely had fun with. Now I don't know um if this is these are family members, um like friends you know three of cups does mean some type of friendship celebration um some of you could have just gone to um some type of event um birthday or whatever the case may be um however my page of cups um sorry my page of swords why do i keep saying page of cups all right, whatever. Page of Swords um, was in the reverse with the World card. So it just tells me that I don't know if there was a fallout um, between you and someone else, you or a couple of people. This could even pertain to work. If it does, um, it does. You, you would know that more than I do. If it's both, it's both. Um, yeah, someone just, it's, it, I could sense um, some type of sadness with these two cards, especially with my Page of Swords. Like, um, someone is really missing someone else. Yeah. Um, I don't think they're saying it, though. That's the thing. Like, it's not publicized. <laughs> like, hey, you know, I kind of miss you. You know? Yeah, they don't, I, I don't know what fallout you had with this person, you know, whether it's an ex or a current lover, um, whatever the case may be, um, they don't want the good times to end. They don't want your, your connection to end with them. But I don't know, some reason it, it's telling me with the Saturn card, um, someone's dealing through some heavy karma right now. I'm sorry, folks. If you hear like my neighbors having a good time, it's because they are. They are having a goddamn good time in the middle of my goddamn reading. Uh, anyway, what can you do? Anyway, so to clarify it, I have the Ace of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. They're all in the reverse. Um... All right, let me let me see what's going on while you listen to my neighbors. Um, yeah, there was a heavy ass connection up in here, like heavy. Oh my god, look at this! Four of Wands, Four of Wands, Ace of Cups, and all these came out in the reverse. Oh my god, this person wants this with you. Look at this. Again, I don't know why I sense friendship as well. Um, you know, I, I do also want to say ex. Your ex can be your friend. 
if they're not they're not you know they, they you probably haven't spoken to them in quite some time with my ace of swords here in the reverse um so i do sense that for some of you a group of you you have not talked to you haven't talked to this person in quite some time um but otherwise this was your past like a loving friendship um i don't know i also sent friendship i i i don't know why i also sense like some of you um you have you have really good um you have a good relationship with your ex you know what i mean because i see the ace of cups here um but again it could pertain to family members i don't know why else like there's like um there's like a couple of groups of you like some of you may it, it may be well uh, uh, very well that an, an ex um that was in your life or that's in your current life now and, and you're you know you still have a, a amazing um an amazing connection some in some shape form or other um but you know what i'm sensing from the first spread is is like missing like i somebody misses the connection you know what i mean all right second spread look at this ace of swords again um eight of swords and eight of pentacles that's a lot of reversals my friends all right yeah so the ace of swords is here again that's interesting Somebody's angry though. I sense anger in this spread. Um, yeah, this person's very lonely. I, I sense it with my Eight of Cups. Didn't I see it somewhere else? Yeah, I, I thought I said someone was lonely anyway. Um, yeah, this person seems to really, um, they try to really disconnect from their emotions a lot yeah they do with my um eight of swords and my ace of wands um they really like mentally 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 you know they try to really like by either working hard or just trying to forget about you in some shape form or other if it's vice versa it's vice versa um they try to do it by work, by working hard, keeping themselves occupied. But you know, really, they they they're just holding this this they're holding this in. It's, it's like a mental prison to them. Again, with this card, I sense karmic. Like this person dug their own grave, and now they're dealing with it. Now, do you know? Like now, it's like I don't know. Let me clarify, because this is interesting. I mean, granted, don't we all go through some type of karma, right? We do, FYI. Um, and if you haven't, it's because you pro you're probably under 29. But um, we do. We do. Yeah. We do. Let's clarify it. Queen of Swords. Hmm. Um, the Hangman. And the Magician. This is a pretty interesting clarifier. Um, that's pretty interesting. Queen of Swords is very powerful in this one. Yeah, this is the uh, this is the um, the energy that someone is missing. This Queen of Swords here. She was in the upright. But because she was in the upright, I just sense that this person still has control of the other. And, and when I mean um, the other, it's the, the other person is um, the one that's missing this Queen of Swords, right? By the way, if you see a depiction of a man or a woman, I'm not talking to that gender, okay? It's just energy, all right? It is gender-free here in the tarot community. Moving on this is my queen of swords that someone's missing powerful oh my god i sense so much power from this card i could hold her all day <laughs> i really can um oh my god she's beautiful or he's handsome i don't know who you were dealing with it's someone who's very confident comfortable in their own skin do you know? Vice versa if it's vice versa. Um, 
So the handman and, and my magician are both majors, right? They are. We got, um, what do we got here? Virgo? What the hell is a handman? Jesus, help me out here, because sometimes the hermit is Virgo. The handman is my Neptune card, Leonore. So it could be Scorpio, Pisces, specifically Pisces, but Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer, which is you. Could be any water sign. My hangman. It's a Neptune card, though, specifically, specifically, specifically Neptune. I don't know why that planet is standing out to me. Um, whatever. And the magician is Virgo. Okay, <laughs> Virgo. Um, Mercury, to be specific, could be Gemini. Um. Yeah, I, you know what? I don't know why Virgo is standing out to me. These two cards by itself, the Queen of Swords and the Magician, this is this is a powerful. See, this is what I mean. This is the power that I sensed from my Queen of Swords with the Magician. And my hangman was right in the middle of these two energies. This is the the this 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 is the person that's um, missing my Queen of Swords. The handman was in the um, reverse, but it's it's um, it's being very elusive. Oh, no wonder that would be a Neptune energy. Yeah. Yes, dreamy, elusive, maybe even delusional, but not in a bad way. Just daydreaming. This person could have nightmares. Yeah. Yeah. This is the uh, interesting. Look how it was right in the middle of um, so uh, these t these two energies, like literally right in the middle um, of all these three energies. And um, but this is heavy. This is heavy. This Queen of Swords. She's not a joke. Okay, or he's not a joke. <laughs> yeah, mm -mm. no. But when I put him in the reverse, um, when I put the handman in the reverse, which is how it came out anyway, um, I feel that this po person is going to approach you and finally tell you what they want to tell you, whatever that may be. I mean, uh, obviously, it, it, it can, it may, um, it's some type of emotions involved, right? I still have to clarify the last spread. I have to read the last spread anyway. But it's almost like now they have the um, the strength to to tell you how they feel. Yeah, they do. Um, oh my god, this Queen of Swords is very powerful. I just keep looking at the Magician card. Something about this Queen of Swords that comes with some type of um, bloodline. Oh god. Like, um, they, they, this person comes from a bloodline of witches and wizards. That's why she was so powerful. I don't know who you're dealing with, Cancerians. I don't know if this person that you're dealing with knows of this knows this about themselves. I mean, I'm pretty sure they may not know that they come from bloodlines of, of, of wizards and witches, okay? Like Harry Potter. Yeah, just, just like Harry Potter. But not, of course, I mean, it's a movie, Leonora. But yeah, no, I'm... I, it could be a movie, but listen, not a lot, not a lot of that uh, cinema story um, <clears throat> is fake. You know? Yeah, and I'm sorry, I just, I'm staying in this energy because it's crazy. Like, you see how um, this is an older um, version of my Queen of Swords, you know? Like, you see the age difference? I don't know if you could see that. Like it's this is her lineage or his lineage of 
of sorcery of of look at this even with the sword oh god i can't i i can literally I almost sense that this person knows this about themselves in some shape, form, or other. Cancerians, I wouldn't be surprised if this is you. I mean, Cancerians. Um, yeah, water signs. Um, Virgos. Specific, specifically Virgos and Scorpios are very... Um, if you have that in your birth chart, you don't have to. Um, even Pisces. Um, whatever, whatever is water sign, they're very intuitive, you know, they could. All right, but besides that fact, um, this is a, this is a lineage. Um, yeah, no, it's not a joke. I don't know if this person knows this about yourself, about them, you know, about this power. Oh God! All right, Leonor, get out of the energy. Stop it. It's it's literally pulling me in. Um, all right, let's do the last spread, shall we? All right, last spread. So I have the Six of Swords, my King of Wands, and my Eight of Wands. <sighs> so. The only one in the reverse was my king of wands. Um, this is interesting. What the fuck? I know. I, I'm trying to figure this energy out too, neighbors. They're really loud. I'm sorry. I don't know if you even hear them. <laughs> I'm in a good mood. I'm in a good mood, Cancer. So it's not annoying me. I hope it's not annoying you. They don't really party like this all the time. But whatever. We need to have good times, right? I'm sorry, Cancerians. There is something about this energy um, with the Six of Swords, my King of Wands, and my Eight of Wands. That's kind of like the like the electricity of these three cards and I know that sounds weird right <laughs> electricity Leonor um, the the energy from these three cards um, oh, I can't even explain it there's it's something about this king of, of wands what are you trying to tell me king of wands you know what this is someone's ex. This is a third party. Bingo. This is a third party. Between the connection between the hangman and, and my queen of swords. So, you know, just to go back and, and, and um, recap. Someone is missing someone else. Okay? I don't know if it's a friend, an ex. Seems like it's an ex to me, but whatever. Take it as it resonates. You would know that story more than I would. With my queen of swords and my hangman, the, the, this hangman, hanged man really, really misses this queen of swords, this powerful energy. And you know what? Not for nothing. I'm not, I'm not taking away any type of, um, <sighs> any type of, um, uh, what, how can I say it? Like, I don't want to say power, but I don't want to take anything away from my hangman. I'm not saying my hangman is, um, you know, doesn't have uh, confidence either. They do, but I think that at this time they're really trying to figure themselves out because I keep saying karma, karma, karma. When people go through some karmic relationships, karmic, karmic times, you know, it is what it is, right? Um, and then my king of wands is a third energy. Uh, my king of wands um, is an angry energy though. I don't even want to say upset. <laughs> I want to say angry. This King of Wands, interesting. Something about, and listen, I know I'm saying King of Wands. It's somebody's ex, okay? I, whatever gender that may be. It's an ex. So an ex and over, an ex and... <laughs> How many X's are here? 
because this is not it's not a, it can be a current love relationship why would you and listen maybe for a small group of you it is a, a current love excuse me it is a current love relationship you know um but it seems like maybe you're going to be splitting up and and somebody else does somebody else does not want to be split up I, and that's for a small group of you otherwise this is somebody that um this is an ex even maybe a friend a family member that you haven't spoken to um i sense an ex sorry i'm just gonna say ex but you take it as it resonates it's just that this king of wands is extra energy here which i know is an ex it's, it's somebody that that wasn't very much so in the, in the hangman hangman's life okay controlling that's what i feel about this energy not only anger but controlling yeah this person this king of wands not only did they and listen this king of wands could be some this king of wands could be current a current partner from a hangman and listen, I don't want to take away from my Queen of Swords. It could be a current partner for, for the Queen of Swords as well. There's there's an ex here that is holding on to the either the Queen of Swords or the Hangman. I almost want to say it could be both. <laughs> like, you know, God, I hope I'm not confusing anyone. Like, the King, the Queen of Swords and, and the Hangman used to go out. Okay, let's let's make this like 902 now. The King of Swords and the Hangman used to go out. Then they broke up. Then someone decided to move on to another relationship. Maybe both of them decided to move on to another relationship. But then they broke up. Or they're having the disagreements and arguments. And the person that they move on moved on to is upset because someone else either the queen of swords or the hangman still have feelings for each other if not one has more feelings for the other person <sighs> jesus i hope i didn't lose you cancers <laughs> i'm really am trying i'm really am trying this x has control of of either the queen of swords we, we, i don't i don't think it's a queen of swords though she has or he has too much power to have some per, some you know some person trying to control them I, i'm sorry <laughs> not this queen of swords it's, it could be him i know it's a hangman listen it is what it is um they're they're going through mental anguish right now with this king of wands okay and not only they're going through mental anguish with this king of wands um they um they're stressed out this is my eight of wands but it's like the uh, the argument between these t the king of wands and uh, i don't know if it's an ex or a current partner right now remember it's a third party okay it's a it's a third party they they control the hangman they tell them what to do okay look at this I'm telling you what to do with his staff, you know, or her staff. And not only that, they put, they put, they manipulate this person emotionally. Yeah. Yeah, this is not a good energy. All right. I, I stayed in that one also too long. That's a, that's a good amount of energy. I, I can't wait to clarify it. I'm a little scared though. So I have here the Knight of Swords, okay, to clarify my last spread. Um, three of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, and Knight of Cups, okay. Um, who's in the reverse? Okay, so three of wands is in the reverse. Knight of Pentacles is on the in the reverse. Um, yeah, uh, there's a couple here, um, uh, a pair here. Um, I don't know if it's the X or the XX or the XXX. <laughs> Jesus, 
Jesus. <laughs> okay. I, this is a soap opera um, that has children. Okay, with my Queen of Pentacles, um, I sense that um, someone has children in common is what I, I want to say. Okay, someone has children in common. Okay, whether it's your ex or your current partner or the two exes. I, I don't know. You pick one. Yeah, they someone ha does have children in common, uh, and if if even if they don't have children in common, somebody here had a full blown commitment, you know, a living situation, um, you know, marriage, <sighs> and they left. Interesting. This is the past. This is very interesting. This is the past. This is before the ex met the ex. <laughs> I, I can't, Cancerians. <laughs> My word, you're giving, I'm confused. <laughs> Lord, Lord. I, I need to take a drink, because this is like, <sighs> I can't. Oh my God, I, I'm getting, like, I know what's going on. I know what's going on. And I hope you could follow along. I'm trying my best to let you know <laughs> what's going on. And I, listen, I know that a lot of you Cancerians are like, I, 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 listen, I know, Leonore. I, I know exactly what you're talking about. <sighs> Ay Dios. <laughs> All right, take a deep breath. Um... Now, in the past, like past past, my Knight of Swords decided to leave the Queen of Pentacles, okay? My Queen of Pentacles may be the, the, the Queen of Swords, you know, they, made it, they might have had children together or, or they have a child in common or they had a, you know, a commitment. It was like a, a commitment commitment, right? So this is the ex, right? The person that they have a child in common with. Now, I, I also sense for a small group of you, um, maybe it is the person um, that you left behind, you know, like the king of wands, okay? So either um, the energy that I'm talking about is the king of wands, all right? Which is, sorry, this is not my king of wands. My king of wands is here in the reverse. This is my King of Wands. So my King of Wands or Queen of Wands doesn't matter. And my Queen of Swords, right? Either between these two energies. Okay. The X, 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 or current X, 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 or current X. <laughs> Whoever they had a long standing commitment, and I, I think it's both anyway. Um, whoever's thinking about their past, past relationship, okay, before this King of Wands came along, um, they left this Queen of Pentacles. Um, and even if you don't have children in common, like I said, you were in a long-standing relationship with this Queen of Swords. Um, but this is the past. You left this Queen of Swords for someone else. Like, just walked away, like, yeah, this is, this is my Queen of Swords energy. Um, it reminds me a lot of the magician. See how they're looking at a pearl, crystal, I mean, I'm looking at, I'm saying crystal ball, but it's not a crystal ball, it's, um, it's a fire pearl. You could find those fire pearl, but it's a wand. It just, to me, it looks like the same type of energy, um, yeah, that's her. Or him. This is this is my um King of Swords just breaking apart, you know, with my um three of wands. Yeah, it could have been you know what it was a third <sighs> Jesus and, and it continues. This was a third fucking party in the past. It just continues, it doesn't stop. All right. I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm tired of explaining. the The past was a third party energy, and they 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 left the Queen of Pentacles. 
Queen of Swords, same energy, you know, behind. Okay? They left them behind. Okay? Goodbye. All right? And now this King of Wands is missing the person you cheated on and thinking about the good times like you know what i did have better times with that person what the hell is wrong with me and i think that they also miss their family i think that whoever they have a family with that's the people i'm talking to for the majority of you it doesn't have to be you know you can live in with your partner for years you consider that a family right it's the person you really, it's the ex that you really feel comfortable calling your family, okay? If that makes any sense. That's the, that's the energy that I feel the King of Wands wants to go back to or thinks about this person a lot. Oh, I don't even know how to name this. Um, then my last card was my Knight of Cups. It was in the reverse. Um... Listen, this King of Wands is not stupid, okay? This King of Wands knows exactly that um, that the hangman, where are you, my, doll, my darling hangman? My hangman, okay, this King of Wands, this, this person, this, this third energy, okay, that might have been a third party, you know, I sense it, it was a third party back in the past, and maybe that's why you guys are not together, your your ex ex. Um, yeah. Yeah. This is this is my hand, Meng's energy. Like shit, why did I, why did I, why did I go to this king or queen of wands? Like it didn't work out for me. You know, it didn't work out for me, and and that's what they're doing. They're just missing missing you the memories you know you could just tell with you know this night just looking at the cups you know uh, at the cup i should say it reminds me a lot of the ace of cups you know that came out in the first spread you know about the good times you had together you know <sighs> oh my gosh that was that was insane but does it happen yeah it happens to me. <laughs> That's why I have like five exes, okay? It always happens to me. Vice versa, if it is vice versa sometimes. Whatever. My life is a soap opera. Whoever this resonates with, this, this reading, whoever resonates with this reading, your life is a soap opera. I don't even think you even know that this is going on behind your back. If you do, because I, I saw Ace of Swords here two times in the reverse. So I don't know if you even know this person really misses. Like, I don't know if you know that they miss you. They, they, they want to get back with you, but I don't, I, I don't sense that too much. I just sense that they really want to talk to you. Um, they want to clear the airway, whatever happened in the past. You know, something like that. All right, my darling Cancerians. Um, at the bottom of the deck, I see, um, f uh, what is this? My Ace of Wands. They, they do want to start over. Listen, I don't think that um, you've spoken with your ex ex <laughs> or your ex. Um, they want to start over passionately. I, let's start passionately at first. Um, it doesn't have to be. They just they just have a lot of love and passion for you for sure. And then I have my four pentacles at the bottom of the deck in my uh, mermaid tarot. They're, they're holding on to you. All right? So funny. I have to see. I have king and queen of wands in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. If I keep going, king and queen of swords in the reverse. Isn't that funny? Huh. All right. Bye, Cancerians.